You have to have honest, real, raw, true conversation and prayer with God. You go down into the water, and when you do, the old person dies. You come up out of the water as a new creation of Jesus Christ. Hey, welcome to Church Experience. Thank you so much for spending part of your weekend with us. Now is a great time to grab your weeklies and head to your seats if you haven't already because the service starts in 90 seconds. I'm here to tell you today that God wants to set you free. Oh, yeah. He wants to set you free. with him grow in your walk with him get closer to him spend more time with him because he's better if you want your life to get better then get around the one who is better get around Jesus get around the one who has power to change and transform your life get around the one who has the perfect grace for you and the perfect love for you and the perfect joy for your soul listen he is better how God is going to work through today's service. When you're in the service, if you have any questions, comments, prayer requests, go to churchexperience.tv slash connect, or you can pull out your camera app and scan this QR code. Or if you've always wanted to stay connected with us at CE, just hit that subscribe button below. We love to hear from you, get back to you, and be praying for you, CE family. We're ready to jump into today's service. Would you stand with me as we spend some time worshiping Jesus by singing to him?
Heavenly Father, I pray to you today, asking, Lord, that those who do not know you will come to know you as their Lord Almighty. God, you reign over all things. Your love is endless. Father, and I just pray that those who don't know your love will feel your love. God, thank you for what you've given us. Thank you for what you do for us and for who you are. And it's in your heavenly name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can we stand? God, we reverence you. We magnify you. God, we, we, you are so amazing. God, have your way in this place. We welcome you here, God. Hallelujah. We, we bless you, your mighty name. Move like never before in this place. God, you know everything that we need. And we start this year off in prayer. God, we, there's no better place that we would rather be than in your presence worshiping you. And we'll forever give you all the glory, honor, and the praises. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Everybody shout amen. 
Amen. I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Just look at uh, look around at your neighbor and say Happy New Year. And before we begin the message on today, I just want you to just to greet a neighbor, to wave at them, just go and hug them if you haven't already. Just say Happy New Year. Greet them. Happy New Year. I didn't get a chance to see many of you guys on Christmas. Happy Holidays. So excited. You can be seated if you can. <laughs> how, many are, how many are excited about 2023? If you're excited about 2023, make some noise right there. I'm, ex- I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do on this year. I'm very excited. Not only is it a new year, I believe it's going to be a new you. We're going to be able to make some better decisions. We're going to walk out everything that the Lord has for us. The title, if you have your Bibles, let's go to Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. When you have it, say, I have it. It'll be about 10 seconds to, to grab hold of it. Isaiah 40, chapter 31. I'll say that again. It's Isaiah chapter 40. And that's verse 31. And it reads, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will not They will walk and not be faint. They will walk and not be faint. The title of today's message is, I will soar. I will soar. Just look at your neighbor and say, I will soar. Come on, say that with authority. Say, I will soar. I don't care what has tried to keep you stagnant, what has tried to keep you in bondage. I believe that 2023 is the year of the takeoff for you. This is your year of purpose. This is your year of destiny. But we have to learn how to trust God and have our faith in God like never before. It says in this passage, Those who hope in the Lord, they will renew their strength. Many times in 2022, many of us have felt like we have got the wind knocked up out of us. But I believe as we have a renewed faith and a renewed hope in Jesus, that he's, there's a fresh strength that's getting ready to hit our lives where we're going to be able to accomplish goals and complete assignments, hallelujah, that we've never completed before. Everybody say fresh strength. Fresh strength uh, is hitting uh, our lives. Uh, Fresh strength uh, is hitting uh, our families. Uh, Fresh strength uh, is hitting our communities uh, like uh, never before. Fresh strength. Mount up with wings like eagles. I've been doing a a detailed study on the eagle. There's a saying that (laughs) my grandmother used to say a lot. Some of us, a very common saying. It says, birds of a feather flock together. There is a difference between a pigeon and an eagle. 
I'll say that one more time. There's a difference between a, a pigeon and an eagle. Pigeons uh, are a part of the flock, but eagles uh, leave the flock. Hallelujah. I believe that God is raising up eagles in church experience. I believe that God is raising up eagles that are, uh, that are, that are watching even online on today. Everybody say, I'm an eagle. I'm an eagle. I'm an eagle. Who you're around matters. Many of us have been around uh, pigeons so long uh, that we develop uh, pigeon-like uh, mentalities. One of the things uh, that is so incredible uh, about an eagle, uh, an eagle has vision that is far. So many of us have gotten, been, been so overwhelmed with our situations, with life trials and difficulties that we have lost sight of vision. But fresh strength is hitting our lives like never before where you'll be able to soar in 2023. You are... An eagle. You are an eagle. Eagles are able to fly longer distances than any other bird. God is giving you endurance this year. God is giving you stamina like never before. As you trust in him and it's going the, the, the your time in the word your time in worship is going to be your strength to and your fuel for turbulent times 2023 is not gonna just be uh, cake and ice cream Hallelujah. But God is releasing strength to you, eagle. You have to realize who you are. You have to realize who God has created you to be and know that God, the same God that brought you to, through 2022, is the same God that will bring you to, through 2023. If you believe that, shout amen. And I just come to let you know uh, that you can uh, make it through the rough patches. Uh, I just want to just declare for church experience, uh, Butler, that we will have 52 weeks of increase. 52 weeks of increase. I don't care what you experienced on last year or the year before, uh, but it's time in 2023 to, to step your faith up. It's time for you to step your faith, your hope in the Lord up so you can soar. Eagles fly at high altitudes. God is giving great vision. Great vision. This might not be a word for everybody. How many want greater? For those who want greater greater vision is going to be released as you pray, as you worship. You're going to be able to get greater instructions, uh, greater um, strategies for 2023 as you seek the Lord. Fresh vision. And not everybody is going to understand it. People with pigeon-like mentalities aren't going to be able to understand eagle vision. 
We have to learn how to embrace uh, our difference. We have to learn how to embrace uh, our uniqueness and realize sometimes eagles will fly alone. Another thing about eagles. Eagles... They don't eat dead things. They only feed on fresh prey. There's been some dead relationships. There's been some harmful circumstances that you have to let go of in order to soar. Just point to yourself and say, let it go. You can't rely on the things of uh, our past, even past successes or past regrets. It's going to require a fresh trust in the Lord. The Bible says we go from faith to to faith and from glory to glory. That means our relationship with the Lord should constantly be growing. That means if you're not growing, <laughs> the Bible says anything that's not producing needs to be cut. Anything that's not producing uh, needs to be trimmed. Uh, so there's going to be some things. Uh, there's going to have to be some dead weight. Uh, there's going to, the things that are keeping you from soaring is going to have to be cut off. The Bible says, lay aside the weight and the sin that so easily beset us. Just imagine us, a bird, flapping its wings. Its purpose, how it goes higher, is by his wings. Just imagine if weight was all on his wings, it wouldn't be able to fly high. There's been so, for many of us, there's been so much weight and circumstances that have been on our lives that it has caused us from not being able to grow. I come to tell you on the first Sunday, the first day of 2023, lay it aside today. Lay it aside today. God wants to take us higher, but we have to be willing to lay aside the weight. We said we all want to fly. We said we all want to soar. But that means we have some responsibility in this as well. The only one that can stop you in this season is you. It's got, it got quiet in here on that. <laughs> the only one that can stop you in this season is you. Some things are not the devil. Some things are not principalities. Some things are not the enemy. Some things are the enemy, are the inner me, meaning our decisions. Not the enemy, but the inner me, the I-N-N-E-R dash M-E. Our decisions that have kept us from soaring. Eagles fly 
with other eagles. God is placing you around divine connections so that you can be able to win. God is placing you around destiny helpers so that you can grow and advance. God is placing you around, giving you all the resources that you need in 2023 to be able to come out of the nest and soar. What does the nest represent? Your comfort zone. Look at your neighbor and say, come out of the nest. <laughs> it's time to fly. Come out of the nest. Some of us are like, I've never done this before. I never prayed before. I never done this before. I never started that business before. I never went after that task before. Now is the time to come out of the nest because many of us have been in that nest, in that comfortable place all for many years. That we've gotten so comfortable. It's now time to fly. Your purpose as an eagle is to fly, not to stay in the nest. Woo. God is stripping fear. God hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. No matter what the enemy has tried to throw at you for 2022, this will be a new year for you. I pray faith rise in this room. This will be a new year. This will be a new year for you. Yes, it will. Everything that you have faced in past chapters have prepared you for where you are right now. That means God has never failed you yet, and he, won't ever, he will never fail you. That means God can be trusted. Fly. What has stopped you from flying? Fear, shame, Past mistakes. Failures. Don't let that stop you again. God is releasing another chance to try again. Some of us are going to go back to school this year. <laughs> try again. Apply for that job again. Apply for that opportunity again. Try again. And I come to let you know that God won't fail you. You can't fly. <laughs> Clap your hands and give God praise right there. You will fly. One of the things when an eagle gets older and its wings gets heavy, it plucks off feathers to stay light. to stay sharp. <laughs> In this season, you're going to stay cutting edge. <laughs> despite your age, despite your background, 
<laughs> this is going to be the season of necessary adjustments for major advancement. Necessary adjustments for major advancements. Whatever you have to adjust, this is a no excuse season. If you have to pray more, if you have to fast more, if you have to study more, if you have to, to seek the face of the Lord more, whatever you have to do to soar, do that. Let's make the adjustments. Make the adjustments. We can't have a new outcome without putting in the work, without putting in the action behind it. It's time for us not just to talk about it, but actually walk those things out. The Bible says the promises of God are yes and amen. How many agree with those promises? He has them available for you. <laughs> we just have to follow those instructions. Hallelujah. That's the word of the Lord for today. That's the word of the Lord. You will fly. I don't care what has tried to keep you at ground level. What has tried to drown you? What turbulent times have tried to keep you, your mind cloudy? What has tried to weigh you down? And I just come to let you know on, to, on, on this morning, what was over your head is about to be under your feet. What you used to trip over, you're going to be able to soar over. Somebody should have ran around in this place on that right there. What used to be a struggle is now going to be a success. What used to make you shed tears for, God said you're going to triumph over it. What was once gloomy, God's going to use it to produce glory. Bible says the suffering of this present time isn't worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in you. You're not a pigeon. You're not a dirty bird. <laughs> You're an eagle. There's a, new, there's a new set of wings that's coming. As you trust in God, there's an there's a upgrade that's taking place. Receive, receive that now. You're about to go to a new level. A new level. An eagle flies at a level that nobody, <laughs> no other bird can fly yet. You're about to soar. Can this happen in Butler? Can this happen in this region? This never happened before. God's going to use you to do it. Whew. This never happened in my family before. God's going to use you to do it. You're unique. You're peculiar. Make the necessary adjustments. And watch major advancement take place. Watch. Leave the nest. <laughs> Shed your wings. There might be people that might not like it. So what? Soar anyway. Whew. Let that be let, let that be your profession all this week. Let that be your declaration all this week. Speak that over your family. I'm about to soar in every area, area, area of my life. I'm about to soar anyway. The turbulence won't stop you. 
rough patches won't stop you. You're getting ready to mount up with wings like eagles. That's what the Bible says. How many are ready to mount up? That was only two or three people. I said, how many are ready to mount up? <laughs> we got to get in posture for this upgrade. Bible says, if any man be in Christ, you're a new creation. The old is passed away. Behold, behold means now it's become new. You're a new creation. You're not just a pigeon. You're not a pigeon. You're not a dirty bird. You're peculiar. You're anointed for such a time as this. This is your mountain season. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give God glory. This is not your sinking season. This is your soaring season. You will soar. Come on here. You have to encourage yourself on a daily basis, I'm not going to sink. Uh, no lack is going to hit my house. Uh, no lack is going to hit my family. No lack is going to hit anything around me. I'm not going to go under. God's going to allow me to soar. Mount up with wings like eagles. I come against a spirit of frustration, stress, anxiety, things that have tried to keep you stuck in sinking sand. Shake the dust off your feet. Gird yourself in the Lord. Stand strong in the power of his might so you can get ready to soar like never before. A new altitude. A new place. You've never been to this place before. Eyes have not seen Ears have not heard, neither enter into the heart of man uh, the things that God has prepared for those who love him. There's a new altitude. It's new. Oh, man. Something new. Something fresh. Aren't you glad your relationship with the Lord doesn't have to be boring? Nobody wants to be in a boring relationship. If, if, you, if you want to be in a boring relationship, something is, something is wrong with you. So that means our relationship with the Lord has to constantly be cultivated. Come on here. And how do we co cultivate our relationship with the Lord? By praying, by worshiping, by spending time with him, by trusting in him. By having faith in him, God, Daddy God, I know you got me. I, I trust you, Lord. I know you're going to bring me through this situation. I know you're going to show me how to deal with my family. I know you're going to show me how to deal with my career. God, I can't do it, but I trust you. I'm coming out of the nest. Come out of that nest. God is breaking shyness. God is breaking timidity. And I pray radical, courageous faith, boldness rise up out of you like never before. Just to, oh my, I feel like almost jumping like off the stage. I feel, I feel like soaring. I feel like going after something I've never gone after before. Who said you couldn't do it? I can do all things. Through Christ that strengthens me. Woo. You got to remember that. 
No matter what Satan, the accuser of the brethren, tries to throw at you this week, this year, I come to set the record straight for this year. You're not going to sink. You're going to soar. Let God use you. Be a yielded vessel this year. Whew. Be a yielded vessel. Don't try to pilot your own life. So many times we try to take the wheel and we end up driving off a cliff. If you let God be the pilot of your life, <laughs> it's sink proof. It's crash proof. You're guaranteed to soar. Let him guide your path. If the Lord doesn't tell you to do it, don't do it. Follow, hear his voice. Get instructions. <laughs> yes, you will soar. Woo. Clap your hands and give the Lord glory. How many believe that in 2023 you're going to get ready to soar? Come on, put, open your mouth and give God praise right there. Hallelujah. Everyone standing. Father, in the name of Jesus, come on, we can lift our hands. We love you, we magnify you, we adore you. We say that there is nobody like you. Have your way in this place. Have your way with these people in this congregation, in this service. Whew. Shed off anything that's keeping us from growing. Shed off anything that's keeping us from soaring now. In the name of Jesus, break any cycle, any bad cycle, any struggle, any addiction that's keeping us from growing now in the name of Jesus. Father, we say we need your help. Move in this place like never before. Let this year be a year of growth. God, on this first day, we dedicate this whole year to you. We dedicate this whole year. This year is yours. We'll serve you fully this year. We'll forever give you all the glory honor and the praise. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Before our usher team comes forward to receive our tithes and offerings and response cards, here's a few important things happening with our CE family. Do you have a love for people and a desire to help them grow closer to Jesus? If so, leading a life group may be a perfect ministry opportunity for you. When you invest in people by bringing a group together, you give others the gift of Christian community. We would love to work with you to establish a new CE Life group where you will get a front row seat to see all that God can do through you. If you would like to learn more about leading a life group, write LEAD on your response card and drop it in the bucket as it passes by. As our ushers come forward to collect our response cards and receive our tithes and offerings, many people make New Year's resolutions. But more importantly, we have to resolve to put God first in all we do. One way that we can do that is through putting Him first in our budget through tithing back to God what He has already given to us. God can do more through what we have when we place it in His hands first. One of the easiest ways to give of our tithes and offerings is by establishing recurring giving online or on the CE app. As we are faithful to God with our finances, His kingdom is multiplied and lives are changed. Thank you for being on mission with us to help more people experience a full life in Jesus Christ.
churchexperience.tv slash connect or scan the QR code on the screen. I personally love to stay connected by staying up to date on the CE social media, Instagram, Facebook, website, or app. It's been great to share another special service with our CE family. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a great week.